Let's face it, sometimes trusting an AliExpress supplier might be a big mistake. Sometimes they are good, sometimes they do what they have to do, but sometimes they kind of don't and it can be a nightmare for someone who has a lot of orders pending. So in case you're looking for an alternative to AliExpress and managing a relationship with someone across the world that might or might not do whatever you need them to do, you can choose to work with a company that specializes in sourcing products from this manufacturers. In this case, we can employ a company to manage these relationships there locally in China. So instead of sourcing my products from AliExpress, I'm gonna source them from CJ Dropshipping. I'm gonna install the app on my store and I'm gonna show you how things are done on the CJ platform. So let's not waste any more time. The first thing you will have to do is go to your Shopify store, go to apps and then go to app recommendations. Here you'll have this button that will send you directly to the Shopify app store and on the Shopify app store you're going to type here CJ and hit enter and you're gonna find the, the app right there or here is this one with this logo. You're gonna click on it and you are going to install it on your Shopify store. On this screen, you are giving permission to CJ Dropshipping. Make sure to take a look at what they will receive or what access they will have. And then if you're comfortable with that, hit install. If you don't have a CJ account, you're gonna create one right now by clicking register here. If you have one, you're gonna select this checkbox and then log in and authorize. But because I wanna show you the entire process, I'm going to create a new account. So I'm gonna just click on this checkbox here and then register here. I'm gonna be redirected to this form, which I have to fill with my information. If you have an invitation code, you can add it in here. If you don't, just click next. Then fill this with your information. Once you're done, click confirm. And we are successfully registered. You can go ahead and skip this one. If you want to answer these questions, you can but I'm gonna hit skip and I'm gonna authorize CJ to my Shopify store. I'm gonna go ahead and close this pop-up and this is the CJ's dashboard. So in order to see if the Shopify store was correctly authorized with the CJ dropshipping platform, we can go down here to authorizations and we can click on this Shopify icon and on here we can find the store if everything went right we should have the store right here. This is a store handle and it looks like it is correctly authorized. So we can start using the platform. Now I'm pretty sure that you know exactly what you want to sell and you are just gonna have to go ahead and find it on the CJ dropshipping catalog. But if you don't, you have here almost everything from AliExpress and I'm saying almost because they are working with most of the suppliers from AliExpress. If you don't find a certain product you're looking for, they have an option for you to place a sourcing request by just going here to sourcing and placing here your ticket or your sourcing request. To do that, you will just have to click on this button here and you're gonna be directed to a form. And you will have to give details about the product you want to import like the title if you have a title an image maybe you found a product somewhere else and you took a screenshot then the price that you're willing to pay for that the url if you already have a url for that product and cj dropshipping will take a look and find a good supplier for you and give you a code for that product so that you can add it to your store but i'm pretty sure they have the product you're looking for a great way to find products and to find winning products is to browse the facebook ads library so i'm gonna go and do that now so that i can find a product and then try to source it on cj dropshipping to see if that's a simple process so i'm gonna go now to facebook ads library if you didn't know facebook ads library is a website where you can check and see what ads are other people running so that you can get inspired and maybe find products and see ad creatives and so on so you're gonna see something similar to this and in here you're gonna select the country you're interested in searching or you can select all the countries but I'm gonna add here United States I'm gonna select that and I'm going to say all ads and I'm gonna search in here massage for example i'm going to actually change to massager because this might bring up a product instead of a service 
then let's see what we have now and yeah one page is advertising this a lot and i'm thinking that they are scaling this product because they have quite a couple of ads running and yeah this is a dropshipping product let's see if we can find it on cj dropshipping i'm gonna take a screenshot real quick using this chrome extension i have installed i'm gonna drag it like that and capture this image and save it then coming back to cj dropshipping i'm gonna hit this button right here so that i can upload the image i just took and now cj dropshipping is researching and surely the product is here as i can see this product has multiple versions one is with three wheels but there is one with two wheels i guess here and so there are multiple variants of this product and they have a couple of more so we don't need those we see in their ads that they are advertising the one with three wheels i think yes the one with three wheels they have some interesting creatives right there but th this is the same product the one that we were looking at in the ad was this one of course on the aliexpress you might find a better price but because you're gonna have to manage the relationship with the supplier which can be difficult sometimes can make the difference in price worth it so i would go with cj dropshipping if you don't want to think about the supplier because this is a serious company that will make sure that you will have this product in time if for example one supplier doesn't have this anymore and you need it they will go ahead and source it from somewhere else so you will not have to go and do that yourself by searching on aliexpress again for other suppliers and talking to them and creating a relationship with them so let's go ahead and import this product to our shopify store in order to do that i'm gonna go here to list and i'm gonna click on this button and i'm gonna see an entire new drawer opening i can see here my store i can choose to charge tax on top of this or not this can be set in your shopify store then i'm gonna go and add a type for this product because i don't have such products on my store i'm gonna create now a type named accessories so accessories and i'm going to add that this is now type accessory the vendor will be the name of your store or the brand in my case is yoga gear and i'm gonna add that then the title you can just import this one and you can work on the title later or if you want you can take the time now and modify it i'm just gonna leave it like that then if you want to add it to a certain collection you can add it to that collection if not you don't have to do anything and if you want to add any tags on this product you can do that now then whenever you're done with this you can go to variant pricing here at the top in here you're going to be able to choose where the product will be shipped from because cj dropshipping has warehouses in china but not only in china and as we can see here this product is available to be shipped from the us which will drastically reduce the shipping times and that's a great thing so i'm gonna select us warehouse and now everything changes in here if i go back to china warehouse we're gonna have different options different prices because the product is already shipped to the us i'm gonna select the us warehouse here you're gonna select the main market you're targeting so if you're targeting a different country you can select it from there i'm just gonna leave it as it is and then you're gonna have a couple of shipping options in my case i just have these two if you're gonna ship from china for example you're gonna have a lot more options in there make sure to research each of them and see which one is good for you but for the US warehouse, we just have these two, which will update in a second. So I'm going to select USPS. Then we're gonna select which of the variants we want to import on our store. And here I have a product that is a bulk of two. So I don't want to import this one. I'm gonna deselect it. This one is the product I want. And the one here, the pink one and the blue one, I don't want the one with two wheels. I just want the one with three wheels so I'm gonna deselect this one as well and as you can see the rest of them which are different products all together they are not even pre-selected so I just have these two that I'm interested in and these are the prices so I have the final cost of 943 for this product and I can add 
my pricing right here and I'm gonna go back to the store that I saw this product on and the pricing they have is $15 so I'm gonna make mine the blue one $17.99 and the pink one I'm gonna actually make 19.99 and I'm gonna test with this prices once you've done with the variants you can go ahead and look at the images and the videos this product has and by default you have more selected you can go ahead and deselect the ones that you don't like the ones that are maybe different products like this ones we didn't import we don't need those we can leave just this ones together maybe this one looks good so I'm gonna just leave that if the images have text I'm gonna deselect them automatically so I'm gonna just leave this ones and I'm gonna go ahead and see what videos we have of course I'm gonna go ahead and download this and use them as ads but I'm sure other people are doing this too so I'm not gonna use them for long I'm gonna order a couple of these products and I am going to make my own videos but in the beginning I'm gonna just select the ones that I like and I'm going to have them displayed on the product page once I'm done with the images and the videos I'm gonna go to the description and of course we have to remove everything in here I can go ahead and look at the landing page I found in those ads and get inspired from here but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to remove all the images and I'm gonna leave the text as it is so that I can use it later to create the actual description when I'm in my store so now that I've done all of that I can go ahead and click list it now and this will send it directly to my store be wary that the product will be directly active on your store so if you don't want that people see it after pushing it to your store after clicking this button you will have to go to your store and set it to draft this will take a couple of moments so you can check it here on listing so I'm gonna click on that and you're gonna have the status here so now it's pending and after the listing has succeeded I can go ahead to my store find that product which is right over here and as I said it is active already so I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go ahead and set it to draft so that I can work on the title on the description and everything else now people cannot see the product until I set it back to active so this is the process of adding a product from CJ dropshipping to your Shopify store what's cool about CJ is that they offer a lot of services so they help you with custom packaging for example if you go here to services you have custom packaging you can search for the kind of packaging that you like in my case I can go ahead and search for box I'll have to go and see the dimensions of this product and the type of box that can fit this type of product but you have a lot of options if you're uh, selling watches if you're selling any anything you have a lot of options in here and some of them can even be customized so you have print on demand packaging if you open one product that has this label here which is print on demand that means that you can directly customize that box so I'm gonna open this one here and I'm gonna show you that if you want to use this box if it fits your product and you want to use it you can go ahead and start designing the box you're gonna have the option to add the logo directly here of course this one doesn't work for me but let's see what other options do I have let's say this box over here I'm not sure if it would fit my product but we have it in white as well so I'm thinking something like this I can start design and I can go ahead and upload my logo on top of that white box and I'm going to do that now and see how that looks like I think that looks nice let's save that you can edit the title you can save it in your custom packaging and you can use it later whenever you have orders feel free to browse around they have other options and other services offered here but one that is very important is the fact that you get someone to help you directly you get a personal agent that will answer your questions when you get them so if you come here to profile you're gonna have the contact of your personal agent and you can contact them and ask them anything they will try and help you as soon as possible they are using whatsapp so if you're using whatsapp that is 
great you just have to connect whatsapp and you are done so this is the difference between working directly with suppliers from aliexpress and choosing something like cj dropshipping cj dropshipping takes a lot of stress from you and they actually manage the relationship with the suppliers you don't have to care about that they will find the sourcing solution for you when you will need it if you're interested in e-commerce and you want to grow an online business do subscribe to the channel because i'll be posting a lot of these videos helping you navigate these waters if you found this video helpful give me a thumbs up and i think that you're interested in seeing that video next